In my younger times, I had a lot of misunderstanding of the world. I didn't really know how the world really worked around me. With that, I tended to get into a lot of uh, inappropriate behavior, and uh, that tended to piss off some people. With and with that, soon enough, I messed with the big kids, and one of them grabbed me right behind the neck and threw me to the ground. It was quite a scary moment. Um, I'm sure I knew martial arts at the time, and I would be able to defend myself, but for some reason I didn't. I, I'm not really sure why, but I feel like it was some sort of just normal action for me. Um, show of hands here. Uh, who here has autism? Okay. Um, if you, in case you haven't picked up yet, I am born with autism spectrum disorder. It um, has a basic, basic definition. Um, as a lifelong behavioral and neurological disorder that affects physical, language, and social skills. I think the biggest thing is that, the, the biggest thing that um, I find wrong with this is the part with disorder. Now I'm not saying about how, uh, not, not saying anything wrong about these parts right here because I have plenty of issues back in my past time. Because as I said, I had a lot of issues with social life. I actually had to take special classes with language. But I didn't feel that those were really a part of being a disorder. In fact, as I grow up today, I found these I found these to be amazing abilities. With my with my abilities, I was made, I was able to make plenty of friends in my life. I also I also found a wonderful woman who was just like me and autistic and could really and could really relate to me. And I and I had come to pursue my pursue a future job as a lawyer as to as the law may, de, may need autistic perspective in order to have a real understanding of how certain things go. The thing about the thing about there are three things I want to talk about today. One is the mental changes of how of autism, how it affect, how it affects people physically, and what are the real opinions on it? either on media or with people. Mental changes are probably the most easiest of them. As I said, as I said, it really affects your brain, and actually your brain is wired differently. In psych with psychologists, how they diagnose how they diagnose people, they basic they basically go through talks with their parents or their child to to under to understand their main actions. But the problem, but the problem I see with this, if they were able to actually talk with the child and still diagnose them with autism, how would they? Then why does this child not have language, not have a back, a backup in language, do not have any backup in language? You see, actually, 25 to 70 percent of autistic people have a speech delay, which doesn't really help out with diagnosis and kind of makes it inaccurate. And yet again, this is and this is actually a very new study to this day, and so of course there's going to be plenty of mistakes. But with this, a lot of t a lot of parents tend to get really paranoid about about such actions and start prescribing their children with medicine. There's uh, several examples of this, such as Liz Dexamphetamine, SSRIs, Zoloft, and Prozac. A lot of these are just are, a lot of these are just depressant drugs to help to help lower down brain brain energy and allow them to be be less hyper focused to so many things. But the issue with that is but the issue with that it also affects their teaching ability, their learning abilities to be able to be able to learn from others and it just makes them more tired. So it doesn't exactly help them that much. Instead, autistic people actually have an, actually can be able to find their own ways to release their stress through certain objects. Now, I'm not talking about the fidget spinners and all the fidget cubes, because that's just what everyone does. And you, you know, it becomes a disturbance in class by then. <clears throat> Instead, people actually have a lot of amazing ideas. 
probably the best of them was was a machine called a hug was a hugging machine built by Temple Grandin. More more on her later. There are also other people who use pens and couple, pens and pencils, do repetitive tapping, etc. And as for me, um, I use tape as a as a fidget. I kind of like just sticking around, sticking around my fingers, just playing with it. It's it's a fun little thing, and I've actually seen a lot of other teachers do it as well. I think one I think one of the biggest misconceptions of how people see autism is through PDD NOS, pervasive de developmental disorder, not otherwise specified. Kind of weird name, if you ask me. So this is, ba this is basically what it looks like, and it uses kind of a paralyzed body. But people just don't really see how they really are. This may, this kid may look like he's not that developed well enough, but he still does have plenty of feelings inside of him that cares for others. I once had a child, I once had a friend back in my kindergarten class who who had the same condition. And his arms were wide open for me, and I decided to go in for a hug because who doesn't like hugs? <laughs> and so. The basic thing is that people say that autism is a is a bad thing on the media, but I don't care what they say about that. I am proud to be myself. I am proud to be autistic, and I am proud that I am able to develop differently from so many others. There's also a lot of ability with coming with autism. Um, probably the best example I can show you is from. Is from the movie built by Temple Grandin. This is her um, in the present day, but they also did a video of her. But they also did a movie of her showing um, how she would act in her daily lives. This right, this right here is a vi is a video showing showing how Temple Grandin uses her perspective to to show. Um, how to show how she can see things in several different ways. And this is Tapping doesn't work. work. Oh, yeah. I'll show it later. Okay. okay. What should we do right now? Uh, well, we need to get access to it, but just it's going to take too long. Okay. They, okay, so I'll, I'll just basically explain what's going on there. So basically, her so basically her horse horse just died, and his professor tells him to think of think of her think of her as alive rather than dead. And so basically, she can see several pictures in her head about grooming chestnut, running with chestnut, um, seeing seeing chestnut in the newspaper ads. And the professor was actually quite impressed by this because she can think in several different pictures based on her memories. So then she tried it again. Like think about think about an average day object, say shoes. She remembers she remembers the shoes that people wore, the shoes her mother wore, the shoes the shoes that her professor wore when he threw a heel. She was, she was on TV ads, computer ads, etc. It was it was fantastic. I've actually I've actually had this tested on me as well with my parents. They uh, had me they had me do it with uh, different types of bears. Honestly, I didn't do so well last time because I just chose polar bear, brown bear, and black bear. I probably did them better. <laughs> but you know that was, I was young back then. My basic. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this: is that people people just don't see how how mental disorders can really help people out and help them in a social way. I'm not just talking about autism here. I'm talking about every. I'm talking about all the others. There's OCD, and improves your percep and improves your perception on things, and can probably keep you more organized in order to help you get a better ed education. Um, there's also schizophrenia. I know this is a weird I know this is a weird way to put it. But people, but they also have strange, strange scenes in their head, and they can probably see them as an as an artistic value that they can put that people may actually like to see to see to represent some things in life. And with autistic people, they have I'd say we all have an uh, an amazing kindness, and we have but we have better better attitudes than others, an amazing perspective on things. But I don't believe that it's just autistic people who can do it. I believe anyone else with the right mindset can use perspective to get into the right mindset of things, 
truly accept others. Thank you.